the ego of humanity. Sometimes I am so kind of amazed at some of the acts that human beings do in order to preserve and promote life and you know is another thing reason why I got interested in horticulture and gardening and that's something that I'm very passionate about is like preserving nature and promoting nature however one has to question why that is a relevant thing um you know apparently loads of acres of land that exist which is beneficial ecosystems for plants and um wildlife are farmland and you know when we look around at the sheer capitalism that human beings have inflicted upon this earth and the buildings that are happening and this ostentatious display of like look what I can build this massive building I think we've really missed the mark as a human species you know um the times that we're in you know where this technocracy is kind of attempting to take over um you know us being so involved in technology and the advancement and involvement of human beings um you know discovering and pioneering new technologies and ways to live and communicate and thrive they are becoming counterproductive to everything that's natural and to everything that was here long before us and our whole evolution our whole creation our whole existence apart from the fact that i believe we're spiritual entities apart from the fact that um we are energy spheres you know we have developed through time using the medium of earth of um trees of algae of fungi of you know chlorophyll of like all these different elemental kind of like microscopic life forms we have used all of these things in order to evolve and advance yet we are actually trying to kill them unknowingly and this is the dark side of the human ego this is what people are talking about when they t use the term eco side that's a term that i discovered um you know when going to extinction rebellion um demonstrations in the uk and london and i really respect extinction rebellion for holding those spaces because the sheer capitalism we're seeing and the resistance and the ignorance that is happening around just actually allowing space wild space ecosystems the very thing that gives us life scientifically metaphysically we're trying to kill then there's the side of those who are involved in these actions getting caught in the red tape and the capitalistic systems and you know the kind of hollywood sensationalism of i am this godlike figure preserving nature lending my hand and i feel so good about it but actually you know you realize that you're not actually doing the things that you know, the fact that you even have to do that and that you're there doing that shows that there's a problem, shows that I don't know how anyone can get self-worth out of... I don't know how anyone can feel, not feel disturbed um, by allowing these corporations and institutions to decimate us on the planet. And you walk around, I feel that human beings are literally insane. We have gone insane. We are living in insanity. However, I say all that to say that in these understandings and these conscious like awarenesses, we then have to like ask ourselves, um, once we do understand these things and once we under we are in this stream of consciousness how then we can act to preserve and to conserve and to assist mother earth because the other thing is that mother earth is going to have the final say and that's the ignorance of humanity they th it's like they don't know that 
they only realise that when they see, you know, tsunamis and wildfires and, you know, it's just, I think human beings, we all, myself included, need to remember where our true life form comes from. It's not from money. It's not from the supermarket. You know, it's not from even other people's relationships, you know. It is from the essence of Earth. It's from the spirit of Earth. This is our true, true sustenance. All the creation energy starts and began with with Mother Earth and with our relationship and our connection to it. And when we've lost that, we are fucked. So we have to actually realign and reconnect ourselves on a really important deep level to see that we are tribes of the earth that like the film avatar we have to really take that seriously and live that not just be voyeurs to it we have to really and that means that means stepping out of society sometimes that means not consenting that means sometimes even having to die for it you know because the insanity of humanity the zombie like mentality that the people have validated in each other it's like they are so un unconnected and disconnected from the earth like and they just need to realize that we are the earth like this is who we are so if you're killing the earth, if you're chopping down trees, if you're taking things up, you know, if you're taking from the earth, you're taking from yourself, you're taking from your children, you're taking from your sustenance. And we have to really go beyond even just going, oh, I'm going to plant a couple of controlled trees in a zone, you know, and saplings and like, you know, let's hope that they grow. Um, but they can't because of global warming and like they can't because they're not getting the right nutrients and they can't because you know it's not even a natural environment that you're putting them in so they're not going to survive anyway they get diseases and they get this and that do you know what i mean so it's like we have to really look at conservation we have to really look at like um our connection with the earth and actually just give our energy to the earth is literally go and connect with a tree it's like literally give our thanks and gratitude and our awareness and our compassion to the core of the planet and this is an energy sphere this is a cord and this is a, a beam that we can actually send into the, the solar plexus the core of the earth and it will resonate out it's a connection we need to spherically allow that synergy to happen as human beings because we're more than what we are being told and we're more than how we are behaving so that is my eco side rant um i've got so much more to say but i've actually got to go so <laughs> thank you for all listening i'd love to hear what you think about the term eco side and what it means to you please comment below thank you for watching and stay safe and love and peace connect with your angels remember we're the ones that rise above one love the Bobinio.